What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do a video on how to maximize the efficiency and the power of your solar panel system. This is going to be a basic video designed for beginners that are just getting started. The first thing that we can maximize is the way that the solar panel is mounted. Most people are going to mount their solar panels in a fixed look in a fixed orientation. So we need to make sure that that is facing the south sky. Uh, so that you get the most sun as the sun travels from east to west each day. The second thing is the angle that the solar panel is mounted needs to be roughly equal to the latitude of, of where you live. That way you'll get a nice compromise between the sun during the summer and the sun during the winter. Also when we're talking about mounting the solar panels we need to make sure that we allow enough air under, or enough space underneath the panels to allow for proper cooling of the panels. The rough rule is we want at least four inches of space underneath the panels to allow for proper convective cooling. This picture shows a less than optimal mounting style because it only allows for about an inch or an inch and a half of space under the, the panel. Now I'm guilty of this as well because it's cheap and easy to do, but you can actually pick up about 5% efficiency by giving it proper space under the panel. Other than facing the solar panels towards the sun, the wiring is going to be the single biggest lack cause of inefficiency in your system. You're going to want to use the, the shortest amount of wire and the biggest gauge wire you can between the solar panel and the charge controller or the inverter. And that's going to be because the longer you have to go through the wires, the power has to go through the wires, the more voltage drop you're going to get, which means when you're buying components for your solar panel system, it's important to choose the right charge controller. Pulse width modulation controllers are cheap, they're reliable and durable since they've been around forever, and there's a lot more choices to choose from. But the maximum power point tracking controllers that have come onto the market are a lot more efficient, up to 30% more, and they're more flexible in the way that you can use them because you can actually mix match solar panel sizes, um, you can use higher voltage and lower voltage, and also they're, they're, they can handle a lot higher amperage than most pulse width modulation controllers. And the last thing that we're going to talk about is battery storage and the, the temperature of the batteries. Ideally you want the batteries to be about 77 degrees Fahrenheit for optimum uh, performance. Any higher than that and you're going to shorten the life of the batteries and any lower than that and you won't have as much power storage. So making sure that you're not exposing your batteries to extremes in temperature is very critical in uh, getting the most out of your power system.